This is the eighth year of Photogra Festival and uh, for this year, well, me as the main curator, I've chosen a topic non-work or we call it non-work, occupied by leisure and it means some sort of border between unpaid uh, work and something which is a paid work. So, and we try to focus on this sort of like a zone in photography as well as uh, video for example and contemporary art. Uh, so maybe I can tell more about the exhibition I'm standing in right now. It's called Recreation. Uh, it's curated by a German uh, curator like uh, Duo. Uh, and mostly it uh, works by German artists, uh, photographers, but as well like uh, intermedia artists. And the topic is uh, something uh, that you can call like a free time, so like uh, non-working uh, and also uh, sort of like uh, appropriation, so which is quite common technique in arts, uh, taking someone else's images and using them. So like those two goes together and focusing on the zones of like family time, sleep, uh, boredom and stuff like that. But within the festival there are many other exhibitions, um, for example on Artvor, Martina Mulane, or uh, in uh, Galeria Qualitas, there was exhibition by uh, an artist from the United States, Jennifer Lynn Moron, and she legally focused or on how to become a corporation, so she so-called incorporated herself and she said for her as for American citizen this is much easier way how to live in the US nowadays so not as a citizen but as a corporation and all the documents plays with sort of parody a little bit for example um, then uh, another exhibition which focused more on videos is in like size specific exhibition it happens in Karlin in a design showroom called Vitra and he invited a French artist Celine Berger uh, together with a Czech artist Lucie Rosenfeldová and they are both showing videos that deals uh, with a notion of happiness and questioning if the happiness is just like a materiality fulfillment or if it's something else yeah, it would be good to also say something about this first exhibition of Irka Scala as well here in Photograph Gallery. It was, uh, it was some sort of opening of the festival and he started with sort of research in a field of leisure time organizations. And uh, for him it was more focusing on how to categorize or make categories of uh, free time, leisure time. And during this research, he came out with some sort of uh, claim that uh, the relaxing or relaxation and leisure time is very institutionalized and is as well very like national, nationalized. It's like a national thing, sort of, because all the organizations have something to do with Czech uh, or I guess in other countries with another like national notion. And, uh, this was, uh, or this notion of leisure time and relaxation is important for the topic of non-work in, gen in general because uh, sometimes we feel like we can relax but the question is why do we actually relaxing, why do we take a break and from what we take a break and if it's not just a break from constant work and Maybe the other exhibitions were asking more like if we are nowadays like people living in Western Europe or you know we focus on this situation mostly not asking quite uh, intentionally what is happening in Africa or not asking about a working condition. We are really asking mostly about our sort of well-being so we were interested in 
uh, if maybe the leisure time is not just a way how to make ourselves more productive or if we are in leisure time browsing Facebook, aren't we really maybe working for someone else? So yeah, these quite of obvious questions. There are like two projects, uh, or maybe even more, but two which were particularly interesting from this uh, point of view. It was performance by Barbara Kleinhamplova and Teresa Stejskalová. Uh, Barbara deals with photography for a long time, but as well as, as well with the performance. And again, her point of view uh, came with sort of like thinking about older people and how old people work or what are we going to do when we are like 150 and our uh, life condition will be improved and we will be living very long but we will still working so her performance was sort of cry about the situation. Uh, Jana Kapelova uh, during her opening she was doing as well a performance reading performance when uh, she was talking more about how education is affecting our future life and how much it actually looks the same as then the working process. So we are already like modified or prepared for this working process when we are very small. Uh, maybe very last thing I would like to mention is that uh, there is every year a magazine published uh, by like photograph magazine and it's something like a catalog for the whole festival. So we share the topic and there can be more topics covered by the magazine that we can actually do within the festival. Uh, so it's quite important part.